This video is to help us through just the reading materials I suggest for the three following topics. Sampling variability, sampling distribution, and central limit theorem. The reason I'm like stopping to focus on these three topics and really specify the readings associated with them is this is kind of the core of statistical thinking as far as this class is concerned. If you can get down the ideas behind these three topics, I actually think the rest of the semester goes relatively easily. There's some code you kind of have to pick up, but once you get the pattern of the code, uh, everything kind of falls through easily. So really the rest of the class kind of depends on these three topics. Now you'd think with these three topics being the core of the course, there'd be one book out there that writes it down really well. But frustratingly, the topics are so abstract in such a way that a lot of different books focus on these topics in um, different ways that seems I don't know, confusing to me if I were to put myself in the shoes of somebody who is trying to figure out this material for the first time. So I'm going to recommend sections 7.1, 7.3, and 7.4 of our textbook Modern Dive. Now, if we go look at that, here's the book pulled up. Go to chapter 7. And then I don't know why, give it a second, and then click on section 7.1. And I'd like you to read the entirety of 7.1. Now, this example that they show for a hands-on project is like pictures and explanations associated with some students of theirs treating this bowl as like a population of interest. Now, they're interested in um, proportions of red and white balls in this bowl of balls. But I ask you to remember that when they go through and calculate and then plot proportions, remember proportions are just means. Proportions are means specifically when you are adding up and dividing by, uh, when you're adding up ones and zeros and dividing by however many there are. So anytime they talk about a proportion, just generalize in your head mean, and then it's going to be exactly the same thing as we did as we have talked about uh, in this class for means. So 7.1 is um, the most tangible explanation of this I've ever seen anyone give. I really like it. I'd like you to also read section 7.3, which really tries to wrap up um, everything in this course that we've talked about to date. So you'll notice it's almost like they start from the beginning, population, population parameters, sampling, um, and then sample statistics. So I'd like you to read the entirety of 7.3, the entirety of 7.4, and that's going to be just for our book Modern Dive. Now, to be honest, Sampling variability and sampling distribution are also talked about in Biostat, our textbook, in section 4.1. But it's so brief and so short that I ask you to read Modern Dive first, and then go to the readings for the central limit theorem, and in Modern Dive do 7.5. Okay, so let's just show you in 7.5. That's the conclusion of this section. And they really try to summarize all of the different notation that we've used in this class, like population proportion is P, and if we're going to have a sample proportion, we estimate it with P hat. Or a population mean mu, I've told you both of these notations are acceptable. This shows up in the other textbook, though I prefer this. But you can see even this textbook can't keep these straight, for instance, down here in the uh, difference of population means. We haven't really gotten to that topic yet, though we will, but I appreciate that they introduced the notation early. So here's my recommendation for these first two topics. Start with Modern Dive, and then before you get to Biostat, move to the central limit theorem within Modern Dive. And once you feel like you have a good understanding of those readings, then come back to Biostat and do Sampling variability and sampling distribution in Biostat section 4.1. And then move on to Biostat 4.1.1 for the central limit theorem. It's a little bit awkward to read like that, but I think 
Modern Dive gives the most tangible explanations of these topics. So read Modern Dive for both sampling variability, sampling distribution, and central limit theorem first, then come back and read Biostat in this order, sampling variability, sampling distribution, and central limit theorem after you read all of the sections of Modern Dive for this week.